Good day everybody and welcome to another PHP Runner tutorial. Today we are going to have a sneak preview on field events. So what are field events? Field events is an event involving JavaScript and PHP that executes when an event like a mouse click, field value change or mouse over etc occurs. The beauty of field events is that it does not require a page refresh. Here is an example of a field event that takes place when I select the value i or o in our inventory application and then auto populates the comment field accordingly. Just before I show you how quick and easy it is to achieve this, a big thank you to Xlansoft for this outstanding product. A visit to the website is time well spent exploring everything they have to offer including PHP Runner, ASP Runner Professional and ASPRunner.net. Although I am using PHP Runner on this channel, everything I am showing you here applies to all products mentioned. I opened up the project and are on the page Designer. Click on the stock movement table under table list and select the add page. The on change event will trigger from the movement type field, so double click on it. Here you will recall the values i and o. On the top right of this pop-up you will find the field events button, so click on it. We now have to select the event type and since we have to test whether i or o is selected, Select Change from the drop down menu. Now click on New Handler. Exactly like button events, we have Client Before, Server and Client After events. I will leave a link in the description to the Exploring Button Events tutorial in case you have not seen it yet. Feel free to rename the event to a more descriptive name as it will save you a lot of hassle especially in big projects. On the client before event, the sample code will store the selection, in this case i or o, in an associated array called palms value. It's doing so utilizing the getValue method. The sample code is perfect and I'm going to leave it as is. The value stored in this array will be sent to the server event and we can access it by reading the palms value array. The sample code on the server event is not going to do what we require, so I'm going to change it to the following. Here I test the value in the palms array and will set another array called result accordingly. The value stored in the result comment will now be sent to the client after event. And since this is JavaScript again, we can access the value via result comment. At this point, a result comment carries the comment string, and all we have to do is to set the movement comment field with this value. First, I create a control called CTL comment and set it using getPeer. GetPeer return other field controls from the same page of the same row and use the field name as an argument. I now simply set the value. CTL comment dot set value result comment. And that is as simple as that. The moment the value changes in the type field, the field event fires and do its thing. Now that's it for this tutorial. I trust that this was helping someone. Please comment and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.